An emotional Mohammed Harket, an alleged Al-Qaeda sleeper agent, spoke for the first time on Thursday after a Supreme Court ruling has paved the way for his deportation. Harkat arrived with his wife Sophie at Parliament Hill to discuss his reaction since learning that he may have to go back to his native Algeria where he says he'll face torture. Uh, I was uh, expecting a fair and open trial. So the, the ultimate goal yesterday is shattered. That's all 12 years of waiting for the highest court in the land to give me a fair and open trial to defend myself. So basically, uh, what's left now if the government of Canada want to uh, send me to Algeria, it's, they have to send me with uh, a box. They're going to torch me and bury me on it. Harkat was arrested in Ottawa in 2002 on a national security certificate. Canada's top court ruled that certificate was constitutional, meaning he could face deportation. His lawyer, Norm Boxell, says he'll continue to fight. It's hard to describe what it's like to act for a person where you don't get to see the evidence. It's an impossible task, and I was so disappointed with the ruling of the Supreme Court of Canada yesterday on a number of fronts. First and foremost, we had a chance to stand up in the court to clearly declare where we stood on human rights. This is an extremely rarely used provision. We don't need it at all, and it's a blight on our, on our system. We had the chance. We didn't take it. Finally, thank you to my family for their continued love and support, our committee, our legal team for their dedication, and for all Canadians who believe in democracy and due process. Secret trials have no place in a democracy. Thank you to my husband, who is my hero, my source of inspiration. I love you, and I will always be by your side until just justice prevails, no matter how long that will take. For the Ottawa Sun, I'm Danielle Bell.